Hey everybody, welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Michael Noland, and guess what? Jan Winner, former chairman of the board to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and head of Rolling Stone magazine, has been fired by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominating committee. Now, it wasn't too long ago that Jan had stepped down from the chairman of the board position, but he remained on this committee. And of course, John Sykes, personally chosen by Jan Winner, uh, took up the uh, chairman of the board position after he stepped down and he's been curiously quiet for the last few days. Now, what led up to all of this? Well, Jan opened his freaking mouth, didn't he? He was in an interview with the New York Times and his true nature just took over from there. And we're gonna talk about that tonight. All right, so evidently Jan Winner's new book will be a book of interviews that he's conducted over the years. Now, when he was questioned in this interview with the New York Times, he was asked why there wasn't any black artists that were represented or interviewed in his book and women artists as well. Now, to paraphrase Jan here, he basically replied by saying that he had found that most of the other artists coming from these other areas weren't articulate enough uh, for him to even be interested in, and that he was doing a book on uh, people that he was interested in personally. Anyway, the article comes out, it's not too long before he's being criticized, and an even shorter time before he's hauled up to the nominating committee of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where he, despite his best efforts at talking to them, was fired. He was let go. Then he makes a statement of an apology, saying that he has really done these artists a disservice. But even that is a left-handed apology. He tried to squirm out of the fact by saying that he was mainly talking about black artists. Now, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has been criticized a whole lot, and of course, Jan Winner's been there at the very head of it the whole time. It's been criticized for not including enough women in rock. It has been criticized for not including enough black members at one point. It has been criticized for excluding certain bands because they were enemies of Jan Winner's. And of course, it's been criticized for including people who aren't rock and roll. Now, several sources have come out criticizing him very strongly. Of course, Rolling Stone magazine is trying to distance themselves, saying that Jan Winner has nothing to do with Rolling Stone as it is reflected today. In one article, they went on to say how they want to be an inclusive magazine. All right, so first of all, Jan Winner has been out of Rolling Stone magazine since 2019. But prior to that, it was already a geopolitical rag of an inclusive magazine. So too little, too late from Rolling Stone magazine. Members from the nominating committee have come out and I'm not even gonna cover them. I've got a video and I'll pin it up about right here. And that video explains who these people are that are behind the scenes. And a couple of them have come out since Jan made his comments and they have crucified this man. Not to mention the veritable silence from some of his very best friends. Where is Bono? Or as Jan likes to call him, B in his time of need. Where is Mick Jagger in his time of need? Where's his best buddy, Bruce Springsteen, in his time of need? Now, these guys know this man personally, and if this man brought this up in an interview, this stuff has been talked about, and yet they remain best buddies. No, the cowards are distancing themselves from Jan. Now, don't get me wrong. Jan Winner, his comments are total BS. But even Danny Masterson got more backup from his friends 
than this guy's getting. But we haven't heard anything from them or John Sykes. Now, in his apology, he even kind of states that, well, I was primarily talking about black artists, all right, which is total BS. His statement clearly indicated black artists and he included uh, the likes such as Stevie Wonder. And another thing, he states that the reason he included these sets of interviews is because he wanted to cover the philosophers of rock and roll. John Lennon, yes, he's definitely a philosopher. It can be said that uh, Bruce Springsteen is a bit of a philosopher, and heavy Bono fans might think he's a philosopher. I don't, but Mick Jagger is a philosopher? Now, I just saw an interview with Mick, and I was very impressed with how eloquent he actually was. But a philosopher? Give me a break. I would have preferred an interview with Joni Mitchell. Ah, but there's that whole bugaboo, right? She's female. She's not articulate enough to be included into his book. And what about Stevie Wonder? Just the release of his Inner Visions album tells us Stevie Wonder is a bit of a philosopher and would have been perfect for this book. So like I said, Jan Winner opened his mouth. The worst thing the man can ever do. He embarrasses himself every damn time he does so. But is this a time to rejoice. I got to admit, I got a little pleasure at watching his ass get fired, but think about who he's leaving behind. The very people who fired him are the ones he put in place very often. And I'll tell you, they had no choice. They didn't want to fire this guy. They're from the same ilk. Every single one of them, many of them coming from disciplines that have nothing absolutely nothing to do with rock and roll. They're all on his team. But don't you think for a second, folks, that now that Jan Winner is out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame completely, totally away from Rolling Stone magazine, that the world will be set right again. The very people that are left on that nominating committee were often put there by this same man. They just did what they had to to save face after all of the criticism that that damn bogus entity has gotten lately. But I do got to admit, it put a smile on my face to see that little prick bleed a little bit. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video tonight. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps with channel growth, folks. The YouTube algorithm sends my videos to a wider audience and then people join up, right? And if you're one of the ones that have seen my videos and haven't actually subscribed to the channel as of yet, well, that's easy. Here it comes. All you have to do is hit that subscribe to the try button, then tap that top bell icon and you are there. You'll be notified of all of my future videos. All right, I wanna hear from you folks. What do you guys think of this mess? All right, I'm Michael Nolan. Together, you and I, folks, we are the tribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.